Hello everyone. All my dear students, in our last previous lectures, we had seen the amplitude modulation. In our first video lecture, we had seen the amplitude modulation's definition. Then we had seen the waveforms of the amplitude modulation. After that, we had seen the various terms such as the side bands, the modulation index, how to find out the modulation index and how to find out specially when the waveform is displayed on the CRO screen. So it's time to learn now some examples on the modulation index. Okay, so let's start few example on the modulation index. We'll see one by one four types of the examples on the modulation index, sidebands, then amplitude of sidebands and the other quantities. So first example is in amplitude modulation in the amplitude modulation v m the in amplitude modulation v m equals to 35 v m equals to 35 sine 3000 3000 pi t and Vc equals to Vc equals to 70 sine 16 0 0 0 0 0 pi times 0 pi t in AM system Vm equals to 35 sine 3000 pi t and Vc equals to 70 sine 16 5 times 0 pi t. Find the sideband frequencies and their amplitude. What we have to find out? We have to find out. Here I am going to write down. Find. Find sideband frequencies. Okay. Later on we will write down then what to find out and what is given okay so the example is the example is in an am system the two equations are given first one is vm equals to 35 sine 3000 pi t and vc equals to 70 sine 16 5 times 0 pi t Okay, these two equations are given. Find the sideband frequency and their amplitudes. We have to find out the sideband frequencies, sideband frequencies and their amplitude, amplitude of sidebands, amplitude of the sidebands we have to find out. Okay, so simple example is there. Here, few formulas first we see. In amplitude modulation, here the amplitude of a carrier signal is changed in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of a modulating signal. It means that as the amplitude of modulating signal is changed, modulating signal means what? Modulating signal means the information signal. Whatever the audio we have to transmit whatever the video or any type of text what is the signal is there whatever the signal is there but we consider only the audio and the video because the amplitude modulation is mostly used in the video and the audio type of the modulation to transmit the audio and the video so in the given example here we require to find out the some quantities and that quantities are the sideband frequency and the amplitudes of the side bands. Okay. Now, here after amplitude modulation, we get one equation of the complete modulated wave. But before that, here we have to see the other equations. We derive the formula for the two formulas we derived. One is the V1 that is for the envelope, and second one is the V2 or VAM. V2 or VAM composite amplitude modulated wave. Okay, but here 
we not need to know the v1 and the v2 we have to know what is the standard equation what is the standard expression for the modulating signal and for the carrier signal okay so if this type of example is there in the in the examination then here first we write down the equations we write down the equations and from that we write down the data what is the data is given and what we have to find out okay so here the given data we find out first and from that here we know the two things first one is the vm first one is the vm vm is the equation vm is the modulating signal then we have to find out the vm peak voltage of the modulating signal but this peak voltage then the fm and other things we can find out only by knowing this standard equation so we must know to compare these given equations with the standard equation we must know the standard equation so here we can write down the modulating signal the modulating signal is given by vm equals to vm here the two vms are there this vm indicates the instantaneous value of the modulating signal this vm is the peak value of the modulating signal so vm equals to sin 2 pi f m t this is the standard equation of the modulating signal then second one is the equation of the carrier signal vc where vc is the instantaneous voltage vc equals to vc peak voltage of a carrier signal sin 2 pi f c t sin 2 pi f c t okay so by comparing here we can write down first the standard equation of modulating signal is given by vm equals to vm sin 2 pi f m t and by comparing the standard equation with the given equation we get vm equals to 35 volts vm equals to 35 volts then 2 pi f m t equals to 2 pi f m t equals to this much 3000 pi t it is 3000 pi t here the t gets cancelled with the t in the given equation pi get cancelled with the pi given in the equation then the remaining is F m equals to 3000 3000 divided by 2 means it is equals to 1500 1500 1 equals to 1.5 kHz it is equals to 1.5 kHz means we got here Vm first we return the given equation then we return the Vm's equation the standard equation by comparing the given equation with the standard equation we got here the Vm peak voltage of the modulating signal equals to 35 volt then Fm equals to 1.5 kilohertz okay after that here what we have to find out we have to find out the Vc and the frequency Fc okay so here I am writing on this left hand side again we can write down one sentence by comparing the given equation of carrier with the standard carrier equation we get here what we get we get v c equals to v c equals to here this 70 volts v c equals to 70 volts then here 2 pi this one 2 pi f c t equals to 2 pi f c t is given here and here what is given here it is 1 6 0 0 0 0 5 times 0 is there 
जीरो 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 पाए टी ओके सो टी गेट्स कैंसल पाए गेट्स कैंसल हियर हुए दिस वन सो एफ सी इक्वल्स टू वन सिक्स जीरो 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 डिवाइडेड बाय टू मेंस वी गेट हियर इट इस एट हंड्रेड किलो हर्स how we get it is 800 kilohertz the 16 divided by 2 is equals to i am going to solve again for the better understanding so here it is equals to 800 0 0 0 means it is 800 800 and this 3 is multiplied by 10 is to power 3 means we get here it is equals to 800 kilo Okay, so first we have to write down the given equation. Then we write down one sentence by comparing the given equation with the standard equation of a carrier. We get VC peak voltage of carrier equals to 70 volts. Then 2 pi FCT equals to 1 6 5 times 0 pi T. Fc equals to after solving this we get Fc equals to 800 kilohertz. Okay, so we got now the data. What data we got here? We got the Vm value of the Vm. I am going to write down here the various values obtained by comparing the given equation and the standard equation. We got here Vm equals to how much? Vm is equals to 35 volts. Then Vc equals to Vc equals to 70 volts. Then next what we got? We got next the Fm. Fm is what? Modulating frequency. Fc. What is the Fc? Carrier frequency. Fm is equals to 1.5 kilohertz then fc is equals to 800 kilohertz okay so here the four quantities we obtain from the given equation now what we have to find out we have to find out the sideband frequency is amplitude of the sideband if you not know what is a sideband what is the amplitude of the sideband so then the link is in the description box as well as here in the i button you can go to this video lecture available in the description box as well as in the playlist okay so here the four quantities we got vm vc fm and fc what to find out we want to find out the sideband frequencies as a part of the process of amplitude modulation as a Part of the process of amplitude modulation, new frequencies are generated above and below the carrier frequency. That frequencies are we call as side band frequencies. And the side band frequencies are Fc minus Fm and Fc plus Fm. Fc minus Fm is we call as lower side band frequency and Fc plus Fm is we call as upper side band frequency. Okay. So I'm going to erase all this and we find out the sideband frequency and the amplitude of the sidebands. Okay, so here the sideband frequency is given by the first sideband frequency. We find out that sideband frequency is Fc minus Fm. Here I'm going to give the number one lower sideband, lower sideband frequency is given by F L S B. You write down F capital and at this the L S B in capital equals to F C equals to F C minus F M. This is the lower sideband frequency. F C minus F M is equals to F C 800 kilohertz 800 into 10 is to power 3 minus 1.5 into 10 is to power 3 okay so this is the
the equation for the lower side band equals to 800 minus 1.5 means it is 798.5 into 10 is to power 3 means it is equals to 798.5 kilo hertz okay then second one is there that second one is for that second one is the lower uh, upper sideband frequency the second is upper side band frequency is given by f usb equals to upper sideband frequency equals to fc minus fm equals to fc's value is 800 into 10 is to power 3 plus 1.5 1.5 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 801.5 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 801.5 kilo hertz okay this is the frequency of the lower sideband and the upper sideband produced after the modulation a amplitude modulation of the vc equals to 70 sine 16 pi times 0 pi t okay next is we have to find out the amplitude of the sideband now if we know the amplitude of this equation for the amplitude of this sideband then we can easily find out the amplitude of the sideband but what is the equation for the amplitude of the sideband here the amplitude third number you can say third number amplitude of side band amplitude of side band equals to young bc by 2 or it is equals to vm by 2 it is equals to vm by 2 here m v c what is the m m is the modulating index or modulation index but here we not find it the modulation index so we use the second formula v m by 2 v m is how much 35 so it is 35 divided by 2 means it is 75 5 holds means the amplitude the peak voltage of the side band is the 7 17.5 holds okay so in this way we can solve the example so the second example on the same type or the comparison type and audio signal is given by and audio signal is given by em equals to you can write down the example with me and audio signal is given by em equals to 100 sin 100 sin 3140t 100 sin 3140t it amplitude modulates a carrier wave and audio signal is given by em equals to 100 sin 3140 3140t its amplitude modulates a carrier is given by ec equals to 140 sin 4 pi 10 is to power 60 sin 4 pi 10 is to power 60 fine what to find out i am going right down here fine first number one percentage modulation percentage m number two frequency of a carrier frequency of carrier number three 
frequency of a modulating signal frequency of modulating signal right fourth one amplitude of amplitude of side bands amplitude of side bands and the last one fifth draw frequency domain frequency domain display frequency domain display okay so the equations are given once again i am going to read the example okay and audio signal is amplitude modulated audio signal is an audio signal is given by em em 100 sin 253140t it amplitude modulates means this is the signal of modulating signal it amplitude modulates a carrier wave carrier signal is given by ec equals to 140 sin 4pi 10 is to power 60 fine percentage m means percentage modulation how much modulation is done how much percentage modulation is done second frequency of a carrier third frequency of modulating signal fourth amplitude of sideband fifth one draw the frequency domain display okay so five things we have to find out once again we follow the same process process of comparison of given equation with the standard equations okay so we have the standard equation first we can write down here the modulation modulating signal is given by this one comparing with the standard equation the standard equation is here number one comparing here i am going to write down all this comparing given equation with standard equation one sentence we have to write down by comparing by comparing given equation with standard with standard equation we get this sentence we have to write down by comparing given equation with standard equation or we can write down first by comparing given equation of the modulating signal with the standard modulating signal we get here the vc equals to 100 volts what we get we get here vc equals to 100 volt vc equals to 100 volt then next what we have to find out we have to find out the second thing and it is 2 pi f m p okay this is from the standard equation here the standard equation is v m equals to v m this is the peak voltage this one is the instantaneous voltage v m sin 2 pi f m t where f m is the modulating frequency okay so 2 pi f m t equals to in the given equation it is 3 1 4 0 t it is 3 1 4 0 t so t and this one t gets cancelled we get f m equals to 3 1 4 0 divided by 2 multiplied by 3.14 okay so here it is equals to this 3.14 we divide this 3140 then we get here it is 1000 divided by 2 equals to 500 hertz it is equals to 500 hertz okay so first we compare the given equation with the standard equation given equation of the modulating signal with the standard equation of the modulating signal we get here vc equals to 100 hertz fm equals to 500 hertz or it is equals to 0 0.5 
kilo hertz okay then next we have to compare the given equation of the carrier with the standard equation of the carrier so the standard equation here again we write down the same sentence by comparing the given equation of carrier with the standard equation of carrier we get the v c small v and small c at base v c sin 2 pi f c t okay then here next is v c equals to by comparing this v c with this we get it is 1 4 0 1 40 holds okay the next one is 2 pi f c t 2 pi f c t equals to 4 pi 4 pi 10 is to power 6 t okay here the pi and t gets cancelled so we get here f c equals to 4 into 10 is to power 6 divided by 2 okay so how much we get here we get here 4 divided by 2 means 2 into 10 is to power 6 okay 10 is to power 6 means what 10 is to power 6 means 2 mega hertz okay so by comparing the two quantities we get here the frequency and the, by comparing the two equations we get here bc and the fc bc is 140 and fc is the 2 mega hertz okay so we write down again here bc sorry here it is vm bc equals to 140 holds then next one is the fc equals to 2 mega hertz fc equals to 2 mega hertz now here we have to find out the given value and at last to write down the all values now what we have to find out we have to find out the amplitude of the side bands we have to find out the amplitude of the side band then we have to find out the uh, we have to draw the frequency domain display and percentage m the percentage modulation we have to find out percentage m okay percentage m is what the percentage m is the modulation percentage percentage of a modulation index but what is the modulation index the modulation index is the ratio of the peak voltage of the modulating signal to the peak voltage of a carrier signal so m equals to vm by vc multiplied by 100 percent that is we call the percentage modulation so vm is how much vm is the 100 volts vm is the 100 volts means 100 we write down here divided by the vc vc is the peak voltage and vc equals to 140 volts so here it is 140 multiplied by 100 percent we get here 0 0.714 0 0.714 multiplied by 100 percent means it is equals to 71.4 percent the modulation index is 71.4 percent then second one is frequency of a carrier while solving while comparing the equation you can write down the frequency of a carrier is the 0.5 kilohertz then frequency of a modulating signal is frequency of the modulating signal is 0.5 kilohertz and frequency of a carrier signal is equals to 2 megahertz that we solve already the next one is amplitude of side band the next one is the amplitude of side band amplitude of side band is given by two formulas are there amplitude of side bands equals to m v c by 2 or it is v m by 2 so we have the v m v m by 2 means 100 divided by 2 is equals to 50 50 what 50 holes okay 
Then next what we have to find out, we have to draw the frequency domain display. So I am going to draw here the frequency domain display. But before drawing the frequency domain display, we must know what is the frequency domain display. The sideband and frequency domain display video on this we already posted. So you can go there and watch that video so you understood what is the sideband and how to draw the frequency domain display. Okay, so here in brief, I am going to tell you that the frequency domain display. What is the frequency domain display? It is the plot. It is a curve. It is the plot of the two quantities, amplitude and the frequency. On vertical axis, we use the amplitude, and on horizontal axis, we give the frequency. So it is the plot of the amplitude versus the frequency so it is we call as a frequency domain display here on horizontal axis we give the frequency and on vertical axis we give the amplitude okay so here this is the carrier frequency we say fc then here we get one frequency that frequency is fc plus fm on left hand side we get here the other frequency that is fc minus fm fc minus fm okay then here this fc minus fm is we call f l s b fc plus fm is we call f u s b now what we have to write down here the frequencies we have we need to write down the amplitude so amplitude of this is how much it is vc and vc is equals to 140 holds 140 hold directly we can write down the 140 here for this one for the lower sideband frequency and for the upper sideband frequency both the sideband coming this same amplitude and it is equals to 50 hold it is vm by 2 equals to 50 hold here again we can write down it is equals to 50 hold so this is the <coughs> frequency domain display the two examples we are seeing by comparing the given equation with the standard equation now we will see the other type of example so i am going to detect the example you write down the example a carrier of frequency a carrier of frequency 905 kilohertz with the peak voltage of 50 volt is amplitude modulated by 4 kilohertz audio signal of 30 holes determine modulation index and the side bands also draw the frequency domain display okay so here the example is a carrier wave of amplitude we are going to write down the given data and how to find out a carrier wave of frequency 905 means fc equals to 905 here i am going to write down the given data given data in the example 905 kilohertz of with a peak voltage of 50 volt means vc equals to 50 volt is amplitude modulated by means the amplitude of uh, is amplitude modulated by a modulating signal having 4 kilohertz frequency means fc fm is equals to 4 kilohertz then audio signal of the amplitude 30 volt means vm equals to 30 volt we have to find out determine the modulation index here what to find to find first modulation index m the next one is the sideband frequencies side band frequencies that we have to find out then we have to find out the bandwidth bandwidth then next we have to find out uh, we have to draw the frequency domain display okay so we have to draw the frequency domain display we have to find out the sideband frequencies the two sideband frequencies are there which are those sideband frequencies f l s b 
and E of U as B. Then next what we have to find out? The bandwidth. Okay. So new term is there and that term is the bandwidth. Now the modulation index we have to find out first. So here I am going to write down number 1. Modulation index M equals to what formula we had seen and what is the modulation index. The modulation index is nothing but the ratio of the peak value of modulating signal to the peak value of a carrier signal given by Vm upon Vc equals to Vm is for Vm is the peak voltage of the modulating signal 30 divided by peak voltage of a carrier signal it is 50. So it is equals to how much it is equals to 0 0.6 means the modulation index is 0 0.6. Then second number, what we have to find out? We have to find out the sideband frequencies means F L S B and F E U S B. So F L S B is equals to F C minus F M. It is recorded as lower sideband frequency. So you write down here lower sideband frequency F L S B equals to F C minus F M. It is equals to how much F C is. 905 kilohertz means 10 is to power 3 minus FM. FM is how much? 4 kilohertz. So it is 4 into 10 is to power 3. So it should be equals to 905 minus 4 means 901 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 901 kilohertz. Okay. Then next we have to find out the F U S B equals to F C plus F M. It is equals to F C plus F M equals to 905 into 10 is to power 3 plus 4 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 909 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 909 kilohertz. So we got here the both the upper sideband and the lower sideband frequencies. Then next what we have to find out? We have to find out the bandwidth. Third number is the bandwidth. What is the bandwidth? Bandwidth is the difference between bandwidth is the difference between the higher and the lower cutoff frequency. If we have the Amplitude modulated signal, amplitude modulated signal, then the upper frequency and the lower frequency. Here the upper frequency is 909 kilohertz and the lower frequency is the 905 kilohertz. The bandwidth directly given as twice FM means it is equals to 2 into FM is 4 kilohertz. So 2 into 4 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 8 kilohertz. So we got here the 8 kilohertz as a bandwidth. 8 kilohertz of a bandwidth and the upper sideband frequency 901 and lower sideband frequency 909 kilohertz. Okay. The next one is the bandwidth that we saw. Now we have to draw the frequency domain display. I am going to draw here the frequency domain display as like this. Here one axis horizontal axis one vertical axis for the f c carrier voltage i am going to erase all this the carrier voltage uh, carrier frequency f c then here f c minus f m and here it is f c plus f m means f usb this one F L S B you can write down F C minus F M or F E V S B and F L S B. The values we write down here as well as we have to find out the amplitude of a sideband. Why we have to find out the amplitude of sideband? We have to put the values of the amplitude and the frequency. So F C minus F M is nine zero one kilohertz. F C is how much? F C is here nine. 0, 5 kilohertz F, na, fc plus fm is 909 kilohertz if we show the bandwidth then it is equals to 
twice fm and its value is 8 kilohertz 8 kilohertz okay then we have to write down the amplitudes the amplitude of the <coughs> the center one is the f c it is vc equals to 50 hertz it is equals to 1 uh, sorry 50 50 holds then here the amplitude of sideband m a is equals to vm by 2 here it is again vm by 2 but we have to write down the values vm is how much vm is 30 so here instead of this we can write down directly vm by 2 equals to 15 volts and here again equals vm by 2 vm by 2 equals to 15 volts okay so this is the sideband uh, frequency domain display showing the values of the amplitude of the sidebands and the frequencies now the last type of the example we have to see and that example is using the minimum and the maximum values i am going to dictate the example you write down in your notebook am waveform displayed on cro am waveform displayed on cro is having the maximum voltage having the maximum voltage is 9.4 volts having the maximum voltage maximum voltage we consider v maximum having maximum voltage of 9.2 volts 9.2 volt and minimum voltage is minimum voltage is means v minimum equals to 1.4 volts 1.4 volt calculate the modulation index calculate what we have to calculate we have to calculate the modulation index and percentage m percentage m also find out vm vm and vc we have to calculate the peak voltage of the modulating signal and the peak voltage of the carrier signal AM wave is displayed on the CRO screen. AM wave is displayed on the CRO screen. After measurements, we got the V max, the maximum voltage and the minimum voltage. Maximum and minimum voltage. From that maximum and minimum voltage on the CRO screen, here we have to find out these values. This type of waveform is there. Suppose this is this is the CRO screen or that this type of waveform is obtained here this type of waveform is obtained this is we call V maximum and this one is we call V minimum so minimum and maximum value we have from that here we have to find out the modulation index then we have to find out the Vm and the Vc if the example is asked like this, then it is very to very easy to find out the given values. Now here the direct formula we use for the modulation index. M is here we can write down the sentence. That sentence is the modulation index using minimum and maximum value is given by M equals to V maximum V maximum minus v minimum divided by v maximum plus v minimum v maximum minus v minimum divided by v maximum plus v minimum so here we put the given values v maximum 9.2 volts minus v minimum v minimum is how much it is 1.14 so minus 1.4 divided by 9.2 plus 1.4 so we get it is 9.2 9.2 minus 1.4 it is 7.8 divided by 9.2 plus 1.4 it is 
10.6 so after calculations we get here it is 0 0.73 right modulation modulating index or modulation index m equals to v max minus v min divided by v max plus v min equals to after putting the values we get it is equals to 0 0.73 we have we have to find out the mod modulation index percentage or percentage modulation equals to m multiplied by 100 percent equals to 0 0.73 multiplied by 100 percent equals to 73 percent okay so modulation index is 0 0.73 percentage modulation is equals to 73 percent in same example we have to find out vm and vc so vm is equals to vm is equals to v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 and the vc is equals to v maximum plus v minimum divided by 2 here v maximum minus v minimum divided by 2 is equals to 9.2 minus 1.4 divided by 2 equals to say 1.8 divided by 2 equals to 3.9 equals to 3.9 volts then vc equals to v max plus v min divided by 2 so it is 9.2 plus 1.4 divided by 2 equals to 10.6 divided by 2 equals to 5.3 volts okay so we can find out the modulation index percentage of modulation vm and vc if the example is given on the minimum and the maximum values the example is to display the uh, the waveform is displayed and some values are the given the example is an am wave increases to an am wave increases to 180 hertz and decreases to 40 hertz am wave increases to means the maximum value is given v max equals to 180 hertz increases to 180 hertz and decreases to means v minimum equals to 40 hertz v minimum equals to 40 hertz what we have to find out we have to find out the modulation index we have to find out the modulation index m and we have to find out the percentage modulation so again the formula is same m equals to v max minus v minimum divided by v maximum plus v minimum it is equals to 180 minus 40 divided by 180 plus 40 after calculations we get here it is 60 0 0.636 and if we have to find out the percentage m then it is equals to percentage m is equals to m multiplied by 100 percent equals to how much 0 0.63 multiplied by 100 percent so it is equals to 66.6 percent 66.6 percent okay now we have to say one last example on the amplitude modulation the important example is that and that example i am going to detect and it is like this a carrier wave of frequency a carrier wave of frequency 1 megahertz a carrier wave of frequency 1 megahertz what its meaning means efc is equals to 1 megahertz a carrier wave of frequency 1 megahertz and amplitude 100 hertz means vc is equals to 100 hertz vc equals to 100 hertz and it is modulated by a sine wave of 
5 kilohertz it is modulated by a sine wave of 5 kilohertz means fm is equals to 5 kilohertz producing 50% producing 50% modulation means percentage m is equals to 50% percent. percentage m equals to 50% calculate the amplitude of side band calculate the amplitude of side band and the side band frequencies that is f l s b and f u s b okay so here this is the given data here the data is given that data is afc a carrier's wave a carrier signal of 1 megahertz is amplitude modulated by a modulating signal of 5 kilohertz the carrier signal having the amplitude of 100 hertz and it produces producing a amplitude modulated wave having the percentage modulation is equals to 50 percent what we have to find out we have to find out the f usb f lsb and the amplitude of side band so we have to find out amplitude of side bands amplitude of side bands number one number two f lsb number three F U S B. Okay, so here this is the given data. By using that data, we have to find out these three things. Now the percentage M is given, not the modulation index is given. So amplitude of side band number one in solution we can write down the amplitude of side band amplitude of side bands is given by amplitude of side bands is given by a equals to m v c by 2 a equals to m v c by 2 second formula is also there amplitude of side band is also given by v m by 2 but here in this example the v m the peak value of modulating signal voltage is not given so that for here we use the formula a equals to side band amplitude of side band equals to m v c pi 2 so here m is given not the percentage uh, m is not given percentage m is given so for m equals to percentage m the percentage m from that here we divide it by 100 so here we get it is m equals to 0 0.5 multiplied by vc vc is given which is equals to 100 so it is 100 divided by 2 means it is equals to 25 volt amplitude of the side band is equals to 25 volts then next what we have to find out lsb and usb so here we put the second number and we write down the Side band frequencies are given by the side band frequencies are given by side band frequencies are given by are given by number one here F L S B equals to F C minus F M F C minus F M so here F C is how much one megahertz one megahertz means how many kilohertz 1 megahertz means 100 into 10 is to power 3 minus fm is 5 into 10 is to power 3 the megahertz frequency is given in megahertz to make your confusion so here we have to find out the frequencies of the upper side band and the lower side band it is equals to 995 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 995 kilohertz in megahertz you can write down also but the standard one is the kilohertz then f usb equals to fc plus fm it is equals to 100 means 1000 into 10 is to power 3 plus 5 into 10 is to power 3 equals to 
वन जीरो जीरो फाइव किलो हर्ट्स ओके सो वी गॉट हियर द अपर साइड बैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द लोअर साइड बैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इन द सेम एग्जांपल इफ द एडेड क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ द फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन डिस्प्ले देन वी कैन गिव द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द साइड बैंड इन दैट डिस्प्ले दैट इज द 25 वोल्ट्स देन वी कैन गिव द two frequencies that frequencies are yf evsb yf lsb yf evsb is equals to 1005 kilohertz and yf lsb is equals to 995 kilohertz okay so these are some examples on the amplitude modulation here we solve the all types of the example and here the examples we got three types one when the equation is given one they Sentence is given the amplitude modulates so so having frequency and the amplitude is modulated by the modulating signal of so so frequency and the amplitude calculate the amplitude amplitude of the side side bands frequency of the side band the percentage modulation and the other things the second is the equation third one is by using the minimum and the maximum frequencies if you understood the complete video lecture how to solve the examples on the amplitude modulation then hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe the channel